Hey guys, it's Valerie here today, and I'm going to show you a few things today. Um, I actually forgot that I had the Yumi Twins box that just came. Um, I forgot about it. Um, so, I'm going to show you that, and I'm going to show you some things that I got from shopping last Saturday. Um, so I think I'll start off with those. Um, I went to a few different stores, I ran a bunch of errands. Um, right now, um, if you have a chance to uh, go to Ulta, they have some really good specials going on. Uh, some of the to Tony Moly um, um, items were on clearance. Um, so I'm going to start off with the like stuff I got from Ulta. Um, here is the Tony Moly D bubble foam. And I think, I think this really retails for maybe like $13 or something, I want to say. Um, I ended up getting um, these for like four dollars, so I got two of them. Uh, deep bubble foam whip, uh, whipping cotton, and this one's also um, this one's brightening bubble foam, um, and this is also whipping cream. is also like four dollars. Um, I was also able to use my fifteen dollars. Uh, sorry. 350 off $15 coupon they always send, I think like once or twice a month or something like that. So that saved money there too. And another item that I got was the Derma E, the Purifying Toner Mist. And I think this was also $4 on clearance. That was a good find. And another thing that I got was the Nip and Fab Skin. It's a Glycolic Instant Fix Mask, and um, this is also another Korean brand. I'm not sure if this foams up. I haven't tried it yet, uh, but that should be cool. I think this was on clearance for $6. And then that's it for the Ulta. Um, actually, here is something that I opened already. It's the um, Ole Fresh Effects, and um, there was a, a spot zinger here and a, like, a little magnifier, like, lotion that you can you know put on acne and stuff it's a three it's like a three set and um it's supposed to be kind of compared to like proactive or acne free um i really like the scent um and the olay fresh effects this is a a nice facial wash um i have one of them already but um this one i think retailed for like 22 dollars i got it on clearance for 11 dollars so that was cool. Um, that was the last item that I got um, from Ulta. Um, I'm going to show you just a very small haul that I got from Bath & Body Works. Uh, I had some coupons, of course. I got this little Hello Travel Size Shower Gel. It smells pretty damn good. Um, it doesn't say on this one. Usually it says, like, what the scent's supposed to be. Um, I think it's, like, jasmine and some other stuff. Um, this was very interesting. It was a $6 spray that they had a coupon for. Um, that was pretty cool. This one is supposed to be White Mocha Kiss. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of interesting having a body spray. <laughs> it smells like chocolate, and I have so many body sprays, so I figured I would try this one out. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually show you my Posh haul, haul that I got from, um, I think it was Sabrina, and if she's watching this, hi. Um, she's on YouTube, and she is a really cool Posh consultant. Um, I'm always ordering stuff from her. I really like Posh, and I actually don't order from too many uh, multi-level uh, marketing companies, um, but I really like Posh because the products are all natural. Um, it's kind of like a natural version to me of like Bath and Body Works. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you my Posh haul. Um, I'm going to start off with this Skin Joy Sunny and Cher Sparkling Grapes and Citrus item. And so this is a coconut oil. And um, you can use it for, um, you can use it for skin. You can use it um, for your hair. I use it on my hair. Like every time I get out of the shower, I have very frizzy hair. Um, 
So I, I like to kind of apply it to the ends here, and it's really nice. It smells really nice. It's natural. I mean, it's one of the few things that actually works really well for my hair. Um, I got this on sale, I think, for $9 or something like that. I have one, and a different one. It's also a skin joy, like kind of like this. Slightly different, um, but I had bought it before. I really liked it. Just ordered another one. I'm almost out. I'm going to try that again. And then I have a Big Fat Yummy Hand Cream. And this is called Dressed to Chill. And I actually wanted this, but she'd ran out of stock. I think it was around Christmas time. Um, but it was on clearance. I think it was only $5 or something like that. Um, it's a wintry sweet cranberry orange. Um, I really love these little hand, um, hand creams. I take them in my purse. They last a while. They smell really great. Um, you know, they have coconut oil, apricot oil, uh, leaf juice, soy, um, soybean oil. It's just a really, these are really, uh, nice scented hand lotions. And they're really worth it. And a lot of times, you know, you can get them on sale for five to eight dollars. Really good deal. Um, and then I also ordered a Life is a Comfort Heal in It Skin Stick. And I really like their skin sticks. I have the Caffeinator, um, which I usually use in the mornings. Kind of like a little pick-me-up. It works really nice. It kind of, I guess, helps if, like, if you have dark circles around your eyes. That kind of helps with that. And then I also have a wakey wakey stick um which is kind of like a peppermint kind of like perks you up a little bit um i use that you know also in the morning um this one is supposed to be kind of like more of a healing type skin sick um like if you have a bug bite or burn or something like that um it was on sale so i'm like okay i'll give this a try um there's not as many mosquitoes around where i currently live right now um, but this will always, you know, come in handy. So there's that. And as a bonus, um, Sabrina included, um, a lemon wedge caffeinated lip balm. Um, thank you so much. You know how much I love my caffeine. Um, look how, look how much bigger this, um, this little lip balm thing is. I mean, it's, it's bigger than you, a lot bigger than usual. Um, so thanks so much for that. Um, I can always use caffeine any way I can get it, uh, especially in the morning. So that's great. And then there's this uh, cool little sample that kind of came in with the box. It's a Don't Be Bitter Baby uh, sugary grapefruit and rich sandalwood. So there's the sample for that. So that's it from my Posh haul. Um... Barnes & Noble was having like a 10% off sale this past weekend, so I got a few things from there. I got some tea, um, and I also got like these little action figures, uh, Sailor Moon, for those who know me really well, I really love Sailor Moon, uh, so I got these two, um, and I also went to Spencer's this past week. I, you know, got this X-Files lanyard, um, some like X Files pugs. Those are, that's that. And then also I'm gonna show you some of the mail that I have gotten today. Um. Okay, so there's that. Um, another thing I was gonna share with you is this item that it's called Oreo O's cereal, and right now it's only produced in South Korea. And I was lucky enough to find a U.S. seller that had some stock. Um, so that's great. It, it's a very expensive cereal just because it's only produced in South Korea now. Um, about 10, 12-ish years ago is when they stopped selling it here in the U.S. It's like my favorite cereal of all time. Um, so here it is. It's in Korean. Um, post Oreo O's. Very tasty. Uh, yeah, so you see that, it's all in Korean, um, it is 500 grams, $20 box, guys, but it's so good, um, I only get to get it once in a great while, um, 
every couple years or so. Um, yeah, because it's not cheap, but it's good. Once in a while, I'm getting that craving. I'll go ahead and order that. So, okay, last item I'm going to show you that I ordered online is the Wet n' Wild um, Rainbow Highlighter. And I've tried some, like, kind of like some knockoff highlighters, some handmade stuff that um, people have sent me to try out. Um, but the problem with those is that the pigment is extremely light. Um, so, it go, you know, you can't really tell when you put it on your eyes. Um, but this one's really cool. I mean, it wasn't cheap. I couldn't find it at, um, like a drugstore. So I ended up ordering it online, uh, eBay for $10, not bad. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try that out. That's going to be cool. Okay, so, um, here's my Yumi Twins box. As I've mentioned before, it's a, kind of like a Japanese kawaii box. Cute items from Japan. Um, I've always co collected this kinds of stuff. Um, you get a little fun booklet with them. And then, No Make No Life, which is their makeup subscription. That just kind of debuted, and I had just gotten that box a little bit earlier this month. Um, so here we are. I think this is like a little kitty cat theme. Um, this is a new Niko Atsume. Uh, is this supposed to be a shopping bag? So this is cute. And here we have like a little kitty cat donut. It's too, it's too cute. I mean, how cute is that? I mean, that is like, guys, that is super freaking cute. I mean, this will uh, go nicely like on my purse. But the last one that I got, um, I think it was from Doki Doki Box. It fell off my freaking purse <laughs> and I lost it. So I don't think I'm going to be putting it on my purse this time. Um, but I may like uh, put this as like decoration. I'm like kind of like hanging somewhere like inside my house. Um, super freaking cute. Little cat donut. Um, and then here we have a little kitty inside of a freaking banana. I mean, isn't that cute? I mean, this is too cute. Um, so there's that. And we have a, like a kind of a blue, like kind of a plushy type thing. This is cute. And then the last item in there is the Sumiko Garashi. It's like, it says sheet hook. Um, but I guess you can hook a lot of different things from this thing. I don't know. Um, I guess we'll have to see. It says sheet hook, but... Um, in the manual, it doesn't really tell a lot of details. Uh, yeah, it just says wall hook. Yeah. Um, so I guess so. We'll figure out what to put on there. Uh, this is really cute. Yeah, just, uh, yeah. Look how cute these guys are. Um, it's a $30 subscription. Um, so far I'm really liking my Yumi Twins box. I like it more than Doki Doki to be honest because it's a lot more things I really like like the cat, uh, little cat subscription, um, or Sailor Moon stuff that comes in those. Um, so that's cool. Um, I think that's all I have for today. Um, I think the next box I'm waiting on is my Try the World box and that's my pantry box. Uh, I think that should be coming on Friday. So once I get that, I'll go ahead and unbox that. So I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.